According to the American Cancer Society, black women have the highest death rates when battling breast cancer. As we approach the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, one community is coming together to support that underserved group of breast cancer survivors. Two News reporter Aliyah Seabrooks is live in the studio to tell us more about how this local group is stepping for a cure. Aliyah. Brooke and John, stepping is a traditional style of African-American line dancing birthed from the Harlem Renaissance. On Thursday, the You Fight We Worry Foundation will be using those moves to help raise money for breast cancer survivors. I'm not pink ribbon girls, but I do it for my color girls. Lawanda James, creator of You Fight We Worry, says she struggled after having both breasts removed due to cancer. She says that the drastic change is something that she has to deal with on a daily basis. It affected me. It affected me. It affected the way I live. It affected me. However, she believes that through community initiatives, more people dealing with breast cancer can be supported as they fight for their lives. So we as black women worry about our bills, our men, our women everything in life so when we get breast cancer you know we still worrying about those things so i would tell somebody fighting to it you fight and let us worry this is the second year that stepping for a cure will be held at members only 937 in dayton carl johnson owner of members only 937 says that the club has always been committed to giving back to the community hosting frequent fundraisers for local organizations like you fight we worry being part of your community is what you should do. You should make sure your community is safe, make sure it's clean, make sure it's fun. Shondale Atkinson is one of the lead organizers of Thursday's event. She says that she sees how much people living with breast cancer struggle with basic needs when juggling fighting the disease and leading a normal life. Because these families and these individuals are impacted the whole year. They need community support the, the entire year. On Thursday, Step for a Cure will also host Club Pockets, a group for adults with disabilities. The stepping starts at 6 p.m., so bring your dancing shoes. Well, Leah, you've spent uh, quite a bit of time outside the newsroom this week. Yeah, today was actually your second event at Sinclair Community College. What can you tell us about the experience? Yes, I had the chance to speak with Professor Hubbard's public speaking class about the principles of persuasive writing. Students then use those skills to try and convince the class of a particular position. And we had the most fun when students argue who they say is the worst character on the office. So I would like to extend a huge thank you to Sinclair for making me feel at home.